Well, folks, let's take a look at Newsmax.com, and you will see this. DeSantis campaign cuts staff amid fundraising competition. The move has some people asking, should DeSantis drop out? Here to discuss, advisor to Presidents Trump and Clinton, author of The Return, and host of Dick Morris Democracy, our very own Dick Morris. Uh, Dick, great to see you this Monday afternoon. Uh, so what do you make of the continued problems that we see from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He just can't quite keep it moving forward. Well, these are entirely self-inflicted problems. This guy has a campaign staff of 92 people. I mean, put all of Florida on the payroll. <laughs> I mean, Trump has it like 15, and that's about more normal for this kind of period. Uh, he literally just is, it must be a herding instinct just to surround yourself with as many bodies as you possibly can. Uh, he's run he's run through and spent already 40% of the total amount he's raised. And uh, he's not getting money from big donors anymore. And whereas uh, Trump got $15 million in donations of $200 or less in the last quarter, he got $3 million. So he's going to have hard, great difficulty re-upping his campaign war chest. And he's bleeding it dramatically. Now, he's entirely dependent on some PACs that are uh, anti-Trump PACs, but might switch off of him. And uh, he's lost the endorsement of Rupert Murdoch, which means the Fox News and the Wall Street Journal and the New York Post. They won't go with Trump, but they'll go with somebody. And uh, that a loss of his money, uh, the deterioration of the staff, really suggests that this guy is... is at best, treading water and probably uh, going in the wrong direction. Yeah, and Dick, you, you've you been following um, elections a very long time, and it seems like uh, when Mr. Trump's over 50 percent, he's got to be pretty happy about that because um, you figure his base, his floor, has got to be a solid 33, 35 percent. I'm throwing a number out there. You can agree or disagree with that. But I don't see anybody else even up to that number to, to take away. So he, he's in pretty good shape. You don't see any threats on the horizon right now, I'm guessing. Particularly because he does not need a majority in the early primaries. Mm -hmm. He's 14 opponents. So if he gets 51 percent of the vote, that's a landslide. Uh, and uh, certainly against any one of them, it would be a lot. Against DeSantis, in a two-way race, he has 61 percent, about 50 percent. 61. 51 is in a larger field of all 14 candidates. Uh, I think that the uh, California has moved its primary up to Super Tuesday on March 5th. And uh, I believe that that will be the date at which Trump will acquire enough delegates to be nominated and everybody else will have when to it, When is that? What's that date again? March 5th. March uh, 5th? Wow. Yeah. Coming very soon. I think that Trump will win Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, uh, South Carolina, Michigan, and then go into Super Tuesday with the string of victories. And uh, Super Tuesday will have almost 40% of the total delegates to be selected. And I think Trump will win an overwhelming share of that. So I expect this race functionally to be over on March 5th. Wow. All right. Yeah. That and that's if, and we all know that we're always right when we predict these things. So uh, you, <laughs> you're better at this than we are. Uh, <laughs> Dick Morris, really appreciate your insights and those predictions, of course, as always. Thank you. Thank you.